now we can learn about bonding in carbon so that we are familiar with carbon and this carbon is capable of forming bonds with most of elements that means this carbon can form bond with any of the element that is the versatile nature of carbon okay it can form bonds with various elements uh, now when we look at a carbon atom we can see that the atomic number of carbon atom is 6 so the electronic configuration will be 2 4 so here we can see that in the outermost shell there are four electrons so this carbon atom can either donate for electrons or they can accept for electrons here we can see that uh, the number of protons and electrons are equal and when these electrons in the outermost shell there are four and uh, when they are released this carbon will get a positive charge is yes, carbon plus four charge but uh, we can uh, see that when four uh, electrons are released there will be two electrons in the carbon atom so it will be unstable at the same time when the carbon accept for electron we can see that the outer electronic configuration becomes eight and it will get a negative charge it will get carbon for minus negative charge but this also not stable so you can see that here the electrons become 10 total 10 electrons so it is not stable now the only possibility for carbon atom is to share the electrons okay the possibility of carbon atom to share the four balance electrons in the outermost shell now uh, we can see how they can share electrons here you can see when it can elect, uh, share its one electron with any uh, sharing of electrons can be taken for any other elements okay here uh, this sharing of elements electrons are known as covalent bond okay so that the main property of carbon is that they can form covalent bond with bond with other elements now we can see what is a covalent formed and covalent bond and what is the speciality okay the form the bond formed between atoms by sharing of electrons that is the definition for covalent bond here you can see the bond between two atoms okay how many electrons need to be shared to form a covalent bond so we can discuss how many electrons want to be shared between two atoms one two three or we, we, we are going to learn how many electrons we want to share okay so bond formed between atoms by sharing of electrons we have said that there will be sharing of electrons so both the atoms want to contribute for bond formation so, so uh, for a covalent bond at least one electron should be shared okay so each atom wanted to share at least one electron to forming a covalent bond so so we can say that uh, there should be minimum of one pair of electrons in a bond here you can see in this bond there is one pair of electrons minimum one pair of electrons must be shared between two atoms then only a covalent bond can be formed so it, it has been said that uh, it uh, if the one pair of electrons is shared between atoms these types of bonds are known as single covalent bond and the, it is represented by uh, drawing one line between two atoms okay so uh, if one pair of electrons are uh, shared they are known as single covalent bond 
here we can take the example for uh, single covalent bond that is chlorine for chlorine we can see that um, it has outer shell seven electrons so it required one more electron for uh, completing the octet so uh, you can say that uh, by sharing it with other chlorine atom it can uh, share one of the electron from both a chlorine atom so that the outermost shell can be converted into eight electron okay so here you can see the sharing will takes place okay so uh, by sharing one of the electron from the first chlorine atom and from the second chlorine atom there will be a formation of bond okay here you can see one electron pair is formed pair means two so sharing of one electron pair taking place uh, you can see now in the outermost shell of the first chlorine there are eight electron and the second chlorine also there are eight electron so the chlorine molecule become stable by sharing one electron from each atom so that one electron pair is formed this is known as single covalent bond okay why we said it as said it as single covalent bond because it is sharing one electron pair now we can consider the case of oxygen okay uh, what is the atomic number of oxygen oxygen has an atomic number of eight okay so outermost shell contains six electron and it will share its our two electron from the outermost shell okay it will share two electrons from the outermost shell so uh, here electrons are shared you can see that there are four electrons okay so that means two pair four electrons are shared so that there will be two pair okay two electron from the first oxygen and two electron from the second oxygen is shared so there are total of four electrons has been shared okay so it is a covalent bond and you can see that two pair of electrons has been shared so uh, what type of a bond is formed here here you can see two pair of electrons are shared so that we can say that uh, this is a covalent bond since a uh, minimum one pair of electrons has to be donated or shared for forming the covalent bond so this oxygen has also forms a covalent bond okay and, and what is the speciality of this oxygen molecule two pairs of electrons shared between atoms okay so these are known as double covalent bond double means two okay so two pairs of electrons are shared between this so it is represented by drawing two lines between the atoms okay so here you can see oxygen o o two atoms are connected with covalent bond that is double covalent bond so, so we are putting two lines okay now uh, we can consider whether more than two pairs of electrons shared between atom okay we can consider uh, whether more than two pairs can be shared okay so yes of course we can share more than two pair of electrons these are known as triple covalent bond because three pairs of electrons can be shared uh, now we can uh, take the appropriate example for triple covalent bond is nitrogen atom okay so we always seen that nitrogen is represented by drawing three lines okay because here you can see in the outermost shell three electrons are shared okay so that when it is shared three so three electrons are shared so there is formation of three pair of electrons so it will become a triple covalent bond 
okay you can see that uh, there, there will be uh, donating first nitrogen is donating three electrons and the second nitrogen also donating three electrons okay so so now we can uh, uh, learn about what will be the type of covalent bond formed by carbon atom either a single covalent bond double covalent bond or triple covalent bond okay now uh, what will be the type of covalent bond formed in carbon yes of course single double and triple covalent bond can be formed by this carbon atom okay that is the very speciality of carbon atom that is one of the versatile nature of carbon that means carbon can form single covalent bond double covalent bond and triple covalent bond so it have a nature to form different compounds now we can go move to formation of bonds by carbon now we have seen about covalent bond what is covalent bond and how a covalent bond is formed now we can discuss about the formation of bonds in carbon so of course uh, the bond formation in carbon is covalent bonding okay so uh, how this covalent sharing or bonding is obtained in the carbon atom okay uh, we can see how this is formed we can know that uh, carbon uh, so that uh, single covalent bond double covalent bond and triple covalent bond is formed by this carbon uh, if this carbon can either share one pair of electron or two pair of electron or three pair of electron okay so carbon can share one pair of electron two pair of electron three pair of electron so we can say that carbon forms three types of covalent bonding single double and triple okay carbon uh, at uh, electronic configuration is two four since its atomic number is six uh, the electronic configuration is two four the outermost shell contain four electrons okay so the valency of carbon atom is four okay so uh, the val what is the valency of carbon atom valency of carbon atom is four now consider one monovalent element okay monovalent element so what is monovalent element here we have taken an example for hydrogen atom so monovalent element means valency one okay element with valency one that means mono means one and valent means valency so that uh, monovalent means an element with valency one that is known as monovalent now uh, here we can see that the bond formation how the bond formation occurring between carbon and this monovalent hydrogen we can see how the bond is formed we can see that the valency of carbon is four so monovalent element hydrogen will form bond with each electron in the outermost shell so four hydrogen atom combines with one carbon atom because carbon have four valency and hydrogen is monovalent that means valency is one so there will be sharing of four electron by carbon atom by forming by sharing one pair of electrons with carbon and hydrogen isn't it so you can see in the each position one pair of electrons are shared so this is the formation of methane molecule that is ch4 that means one c can combine with four hydrogen atom okay so this is the formation of methane ch4 molecule that is a single covalent bond okay here the formation is by 
single covalent bond. Okay, because only one pair of electrons is shared between carbon and one hydrogen. Okay, one hydrogen is sharing one pair of electrons. Now we can uh, move to the double covalent bond and triple covalent bond. Okay, we can look at uh, uh, by examples we can study what is how is double covalent bond and triple covalent bond is formed. For uh, double covalent bond we can take the example as carbon dioxide. So what is the formula of carbon dioxide? CO2 and uh, how the pairing is taking place? See here this carbon is paired with two oxygen. There you can see that it has been shared two electron from oxygen. Okay, so one oxygen is sharing two electrons. This uh, oxygen has a valency two. Okay, since the outermost shell contains six electron, oxygen has a valency two and carbon has valency four. So one of the oxygen can give two electron they will satisfy the valency and other oxygen also give two electrons so the valency is satisfied and carbon dioxide is formed so here uh, we can see that the carbon dioxide molecule is formed by sharing two pair of electrons okay so uh, by sharing two pair of electrons the, we can say that this will be a divalent okay divalent coval covalent bond okay so you can see that uh, from the uh, oxygen there are two electrons are shared okay you can see the blue electrons uh, then uh, from the carbon the black electrons you can see okay so that two pairs okay two pairs have been shared between carbon atom and oxygen atom so there will be a divalent double covalent bond okay divalent or double covalent bond that means sharing of two pair of electrons here you can see sharing of two pair of electrons is taking place okay now we can look at the triple covalent bond okay similarly we can say that in the monocovalent bond one electron pair is shared uh, uh, now we can look at triple covalent bond okay for example we can take hydrogen cyanide this is a poisonous uh, chemical that has been used in laboratory for various experiments okay so hydrogen cyanide is an example for triple covalent bond we have studied about uh, and the uh, chemical formula is hcn okay hcn is the chemical formula for hydrogen cyanide and you can see that one carbon atom combines with hydrogen and nitrogen okay so you can see that in the nitrogen atom nitrogen has a valency 5 okay nitrogen has a valency 5 and it need 3 more electrons to complete its octet so it will share 3 electron with the carbon okay so three electrons are shared uh, between carbon and nitrogen so there are total six electron okay uh, carbon six electrons are there so there will be three pair of electrons okay in the case of hydrogen you can see it will share one electron with the carbon atom and carbon also share one electron to the hydrogen atom so there will be one pair of electron okay so now you can see uh, the carbon has been shared three electron and you can it has been marked with the blue color okay and, and the red color indicates the three electrons shared by nitrogen atom okay uh, nitrogen has okay so you can say that there will be three pairs uh, have, have been formed total six electron means there will be a three pair of electrons so we can say that there will be a formation of a triple bond between carbon and 
nitrogen okay uh, here you can see the arrow mark there will be there will be a triple covalent bond is formed between carbon and nitrogen so uh, we can conclude that carbon can form single covalent bond double covalent bond and triple covalent bond for example we have been taken for single methane ch4 for double covalent bond co2 carbon dioxide and triple covalent bond hcn hydrogen cyanide we have been taken okay so that uh, in the single covalent bond one pair of electron is shared in double covalent bond two pairs of electrons has been shared and triple covalent bond three pair of electrons has been shared okay so carbon can form bonds by itself it is the uh, high quality uh, it is high nature of carbon so carbon together forms a long chain okay they can form uh, they have the ability to form bo bonds with other atoms of carbon giving rise to large molecules okay this property is known as catenation okay so catenation is the versatile nature of carbon in which carbon it has the unique ability to form bond with other atoms of carbon giving rise to long large molecules okay and they can 